ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ನಿಗಮಾಂತ ಮಹಾದೇಶಿಕಾಯ ನಮಃ ಅಸ್ಮದ್ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವ್ಯೋಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿಧತ್ತ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಿ ಗುರುಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ಗುರುಭ್ಯ ಗುರುಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ತದ್ಗುರುಭ್ಯಶ್ಚ ನಮೋ ವಾಕಮಧೀಮಹೆ ವ್ರಣೀಮಹೇ ಚ ತತ್ರೋ ದಂಪತಿ ಜಗತಾಂಪತಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಂದಮಯ ದೇವ ನಿರ್ಮಲಸ್ಪತಿಕೃತಿ ಆಧಾರಂಸರ್ವಿದ್ಯಾಮಯಗ್ರೀವೋಪಾಸ್ಮಹೆ ವಂದೇ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಹಯ್ರೀವಂ ಪುರೋ ಮೇ ಮಾರ್ಗದರ್ಶಕ ಯಹ ಪಕ್ವಮತಿರ್ನೂನ್ ಕಿಂಚಿತ್ ಭೂತ ಹಿ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಅಚ್ಯುತ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯನ್ ಮಾಂ ಚ್ಯುತ ಮುಕುಂದ ಮೇ ಗುರು ಅರಕ್ಷತನುಕಂಪ ತೇ ಪದಮನುಸರಾಮ್ಯಹಂ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭ ಗುರು ವಂದೇ ಸದಾಚಾರ್ಯಂಹಂ ಸದ ಕುಲೀನಂ ಧೀ ಸುಶೀಲಿ ವಿಗ್ರಹಂ ಶುದ್ಧ ವೈದಿಕ ವೇದಾಂತಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಮುನಿಯಂತ್ರಕೃಪಾತ್ಮಬೋಧಂ ತತ್ಪಾದಯುಗ್ಮಸರಶೀರಿಹ ಭೃಂಗರಾಜ ತ್ರಯ್ಯಂತಯುಗ್ಮತಭೂರಿ ಪರಿಶ್ರಮಂ ತಂ ಶ್ರೀರಂಗಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಮುನಿ ಶರಣಂ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೇ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ವೇದಾಂತರಾಮಾನುಜೇತಿ ಕೃತಯಾರಂಜನಿನ್ಯಸ್ತಭಾರಂ ತತ್ಸಂಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಾಗಮಾಂತಮನುಗಣಂ ಶಿಷ್ಟಾ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಗ್ರೇಂ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಶ್ರೀರಂಗರಾಮಾನುಜ ಮುನಿಗರುಣಾಲಬ್ಧ ಮೋಕ್ಷಾಶ್ರಮಂ ತಂ ತತ್ಸ್ಥಂ ಶ್ರೀವರಾಹಂ ಯತಿವರ ಮನಘಂ ದೇಶಿಕಂ ಸಂಶ್ರಯಾಮಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಭಾಯಿ ದೇವೀಭೂಷಣಹೇತ್ಯಾದಿಜುಷ್ಟಸ್ಯ ಭಗವಂಸ್ತವ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ನಿರಪರಾಧೇಶು ಕೈಂಕರ್ಯು ನಿಯುಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಮಾಂ ದೇವೀಭೂಷಣಹೇತ್ಯಾದಿಜುಷ್ಟಸ್ಯ ಭಗವನ್ ತವ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ನಿರಪರಾಧೇಶು ಕೈಂಕರ್ಯು ನಿಯುಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಮಾಂ This is the 6th verse of Shri Nyasa Dasaka composed by Shri Vedanta Deshika. In the previous verse, that is, Tvachche Shatve Stiradhyam Tvatpratyeka Prayojanam Nishidha Kamirahidam Kuru Maam Nitya Kinkaram Maam Nitya Kinkaram Kuru Swami Deshika prays to Lord Vardaraja requesting him to make him to Vedanta Deshika a yeah, Nitya Kinkara a person who would do service eternally to the divine feet of bhagavan having asked for the post of a eternal service provider let us say what should be the uh, service and uh, for what it should be done as if to answer that in this verse the sixth one swami says a uh, swami requests niraparadheshu kaikaryeshu maam niyunkshva now this whatever kankarya that should be done that should be decided by the master that should be decided by the lord is it to, it, it is to please him that we are entering kankarya that they are going to perform kankarya in shri vaikuntha would it not give more happiness or pleasure to do that activity or kankarya which is required rather than what is desired by us. So we have to let Bhagavan decide into what kankarya or for what kankarya that he would utilize us. So we have to request Bhagavan to for a kankarya itself. Adhyan is readily available. Kindly deploy me. Kindly give me a kankarya niraparadeshu in which i can adhyan can perform without any mistakes an error free kankarya bhagavan bhagavan is the sambodhana pada is the vocatory term here bhagavan he bhagavan he bhagavan means bhagavan is noun bhagavan is sambodhana it's like the vocative particle he bhagavan Embarumane, as if saying Tamil, Embarumane. Tava, Tava means you are, or to you. Niraparadheshu kainkaryeshu maam nityam niyangshva. So please deploy me, please command me always to involve me. myself in kainkarya in kainkaryas kainkaryeshu means saptami bhakti bahuvachana this is the locative case plural 
in those kankariyas where adian can perform without let us say much mistakes of course when we become a mukta in that context we won't be doing any mistakes why because our jnana would be complete we won't have any karma but here as long as we you going to exist in this world there is a lot of scope to commit mistakes upachara padeshena krita nahara harmaya apachara niman sarvan kshamasva purushottama says jitante stotra upachara padeshena krita nahara harmaya this is actually rendered by all shri vishnavas at the end of tiruvaradhanam at the end of the daily a ritual uh, towards one's own personal deity personal form of god of bhagavan a shaligram murti or a small vigraha kind of thing so after the tiruvaradhanam is done at the end of the tiruvaradhanam this shloka is is said why because we are capable of doing only apacharas it is bhagavan's magnanimity that he takes our apachara also as upachara like our own kids what they do they in the i mean they think they are going to help us by doing something but we will have double the work piled up because of that but still we would enjoy that also and then we would get away i mean the children will will not show our anger to them the same way bhagavan is so magnanimous so merciful that he normally does not mind our, us committing mistakes but at the same time we should not take him for granted so we have to treat him like a like a king like an emperor we have to treat him like our uh, guru so show utmost respect and fear at the same time we also know that he is full of love and affection for us so here swami deshika request please niyukshwa appoint me in error free kankaryas how are you devi bhushana hetyadi jushtasya jushtaha means one who is served upon already happily by what devi bhushana heti devi means bhagavan is the only purusha in the entire Uh, two vibhutis lila vibhuti and niti vibhuti and all every el, everybody else is actually a stri compared to bhagavan that being the case he has many many divine consorts he has many many divine consorts beginning with shri and then bhumi pirati neela and so on so what do these uh, piratis or devis his divan consorts what do they do he said that they also render kankariya to his divan feet so to please him everybody's goal is to keep bhagwan pleased so why should bhagwan has have these many devis what do they signify well they may represent a particular aspect of creation they all exhibit gunas like shama forbearance uh, daya etc what they do is they distribute among themselves the jeevatmas i will take care of these people i will take care of these people let me do something to bring them up here in nitya vibhuti to nitya vibhuti now we have to always think in laukika terms also so whatever is there in the niti vibhuti we can apply the situation over here and then compare them to there as well so what is true for laukika is true for vedika also could be true like let us um, imagine the past not today because today we have uh, at least you know, you know um, i mean in every household you can find only one infant one kid but imagine the olden days where there would be 10 12 kids even there are 10 12 kids 
who is going to manage them not the parents alone it's not possible so there would be one grandmother there will be one grandfather or great grandfather and uh, aged aunt and so on so each one will have the knack to handle one kid at least so they know how to handle which means not everybody can everybody can handle all the kids because we need lot of patience to handle kids so each one they have the knack of handling one particular kid and the kid also what they do is they choose the relative based upon their own past vasana or the affection they show etc so in the same way bhagavan along with these devis the divya divya piratis of bhagavan they what they do is they share amongst themselves the activity of protecting the jivatma bhushana bhushana means all the abharanas the divine ornaments that bhagavan adorns each ornament for us is to enjoy the beauty to revel in bhagavan's beauty but each abharana does a kainkarya to bhagavan they also represent some tatvas and the heti heti means weapons very beautifully poets describe bhagavan's weapons in a poem called as duta vakyam where krishna goes as a messenger to the court of duryodhana there they say catch him bind him tie him with a rope etc then the poet a very beautifully describes that all the weapons they all watching this they become agitated they want to help lord each one is rushing let me go let me go bhagavan is in danger so this is how we could we should enjoy all these aspects of bhagavan rather than questioning why should bhagavan have weapons why should bhagavan have uh, ornaments etc etc is all it is very lively out there it's not a dry place sri vaikuntha is not a dry place that bhagavan has a roopa he has a form all the piratis have a form niti sri also they have a form all the muktas who are there will have a form and what are we going going to do with such jnana there that the jnana has to have some vishaya right so these are all there for us to enjoy and we wouldn't have enough time to enjoy all these beautiful aspects of bhagavan so hetyaj yustasya one who is served by all this by with out of affection by piratis the devis the uh, ornaments the weapons etc divya weapons etc so to the, that bhagavan he bhagavan of yours who is like this make me a or appoint me in blemishness kainkaryas so that is the prayer in this uh, verse the sixth verse instantly i didn't remember a story shared by my madhyar who taught me grammar during my mid days it's about kainkarya sampradaya only when it comes to kainkarya we all have we all have our own imagination and description of a kainkarya because we all are from the most of us are working so when we work we choose our job we choose our role right we don't go and tell the company give me any role i will do no we are come from a background so we say i would like to do a specialist in this i would like to do this job same way we all have a notion that kainkarya means something which we should be able to do we should be comfortable it should match our uh, resume cv etc so like me is that's not be the case okay if we, to, at least with bhagavan we should just surrender and then and then say i am ready please appoint me to any kind of career there was a sri vaishnava was looking very good and on that day wearing a very nice dhoti panchakacham applying the 12 urdu pundam tirman kaapu etc so everybody is like when they look at him they tend to uh, salute dasan adiyan dasan that's how sri vaishnava was they greet right so he goes to the temple where in tirumanjanam is happening happening bhagavan is being given the murtis of bhagavan are being given a divine bath spiritual bath as you can say now then the the archaka over there he is running out of water he needs water so when this swami is uh, entering the temple he is saying adiyan adiyan and then he is coming he tells adiyan dasan to the archaka 
Archaka is happy because somebody has come to help him. So he says, Swami, can you fetch two, three vessels of water? Then this Sri Vaishnava is taken aback. Because he thinks fetching water from the well for the purpose of Tirmanjanam does not uh, suit his maybe his appearance or his uh, knowledge or whatever. So he thinks that Kainkariya to be lowly Kainkariya and then he shouts, What? Of all you found only, found out only me. You are asking me to get, get water. So that incident, it sums up our attitude also. We should not be the case. So when it comes to Kainkariya, we should allow Bhagavan to give the Kainkariya to us. We cannot for our own whatever whims and fancy or uh, assumptions we cannot say that I can I can do this kind of career. I want to do in fact only this kind of career, not that. We shouldn't say. So, as if to impart that thought process in us, Swami Rishika has uh, very beautifully uh, given this uh, verse, sixth verse Devi Bhushana Hit Yad Yustasya Bhagavan Stava Bhagavan Stava Nityam Niraparadhishu Kainkariyeshu Niyamshva Mam. Simate Nirmanta Mahadeshikaya Namaha.